welcome to week three of virtual PE with Mr. J. Over the last two weeks we've covered gymnastic shapes and gymnastics jumps and today we're going to be focusing on balances. But before we get started, as always, what is the first thing we need to do in Whoa, a PE lesson? Mr. J. Today's warm up is called Alpha Balance, a bit like the alphabet. But our task is to see how many letters in the alphabet we can make into a balance. So I'm going to give you a few examples and then I would like you to see how many you can come up with and create. So, for example, the letter A. I'm making a letter A now of my body. Um, let's go letter I, the letter X, the letter T. Have a go at as many letters as possible and try and make them into a balance. Good luck. Now you've finished our warm up for this week, let's move on to our balances. The first balance we are going to focus on today is the H balance. And we're going to create the letter H using our bodies into a balance. So, let's see how we do it. First thing we need to do is we need to put our feet together and our arms out to our side to help us with the balance. We then bring one leg up and keep it at 90 degrees so that we're creating a letter H to the side. Let's see, look at it from the side, feet together, arms out to the side, you bring one leg up, keep your back, keep your back nice and straight and as you can see we are creating the letter H with our bodies. Have a go and see if you can do it on both legs. Our second balance that we're going to cover today is the arabesque balance. So let's have a go. So what we need here, again all we'll start with your feet together. We're going to put our arms out to the side like we did in the H balance and we're going to lean forward trying to keep our chest level to the floor. And then we're going to bring one leg up at the back and point it out to try and create that shape. Look at it from the side, so feet together, arms out nice and wide, lean forward, and we're gonna put one leg out behind us. That is the arabesque balance. Have a go yourselves, and just like we did in the H balance, see if you can do it on both legs. You might be better on one than the other. Good luck. The third balance we're going to look at today, boys and girls, is the V balance. So we're going to create the letter V with our bodies. So let's have a go. So the first thing we need to do is sit on the floor. We then put our hands behind us, keeping our arms nice and straight, but most importantly our fingers need to be facing towards our body. Keep our legs together, glued together, and then we're going to bring our legs up together as far as we can, creating a, a V shape. So I'm only going to do it a little bit, so I'm going to a really big V. So as you can see, I'm creating a V shape with my body. As you will see, some people will find that easier than others, and you'll be able to get your legs really, really high. You can have a wide V or a small V. Have a go and see how you get on. The 
The next balance we're going to have a go at is the shoulder stand. So in this uh, balance, we create almost like a pencil shape, but with our shoulders on the floor. We're almost upside down. So let's have a go. So start on the floor. You are on, keep your legs together nice and straight. You are going to roll back, push your legs up in the air, try to keep as straight as possible, and you then use your hands to help your balance. If you find that easy, you can put your arms up straight rather than to hold the shoulder stand. Have a go, see how you get on. Unfortunate boys and girls, that's all we've got time for in today's balance lesson. We've covered four balances so far. We've covered the H balance, the arabesque, the shoulder stand and the V balance. I have a little challenge for those of you that have found it very, very easy with our balances so far. You will see on your worksheets there is a Y balance. That is one of the hardest balances to do. So have a go at that if you would like to. And as always, boys and girls, don't forget to upload pictures, videos, and your worksheets to your class portfolios on Class Dojo. I'll see you all next week. Bye. Don't forget to upload the pictures of you practicing the shapes we learned today onto your Class Dojo page. See you next week.